Okay guys, so today I'm going to be mixing up a little bit with the whole camera setup because I'm trying out a new camera and seeing before I actually go and buy one that's just like this, just how well this particular camera will work for what I want it to work. So anyways, that's just a quick thing because you guys are probably noticing the, probably noticing the difference. Anyways, today's actual video is going to be talking about the Microtech Ultratech Contour Grip version of this little blade. And before we jump into this, as always guys, please do not forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe so you can see more awesome Alaskan content just like this. So as I mentioned, today we're going to be talking about this little guy here, and I have been carrying this knife, this uh, Contour Grip Ultratech, for quite a few months now. And originally I had a Tri-Grip, and I still do have one uh, Ultratech Tri-Grip, but I wanted to experiment and see kind of what other handle versions were like and have something that was less aggressive for EDC because in fairness with the tri-grip uh, one thing that was very synonymous to the tri-grips was that they were extremely grippy but also a little bit overly aggressive and I have to say that that's definitely true especially when actually handling holding and using just a standard contour grip uh, ultra tech now of course this has a single edge and it's just your standard drop point you know your kind of utilitarian blade that was exactly what i was going for when i wanted this because i did not want another double edge like this and i love this guy specifically for what it is and that is a defensive knife <clears throat> but i wanted a good out the front utilitarian knife because it still is my opinion and i hear a lot of objections but it still is my opinion that out the front make really great uh, little everyday carry knives especially because they're so handy they pop out of the handle cut something pop it back in and be on your way it's really nice and when you're actually using the knife it's very very nice to just have that ease of deployment and actually retraction <laughs> So as far as it goes, the Almac Steel has been holding a very good edge. I have not touched this edge at all since I got it. Uh, I haven't even stropped it, sharpened it at all, nothing. The Almax is doing a very good job at holding its edge. And as far as the rust resistance goes, of course, I did make sure, or what I really purposely wanted was the kind of the two-tone finish where there was a little bit of satin but for the most part this knife was blacked out and that's to help with rust but <coughs> <coughs> but on the areas that are exposed i have not found any issues with rust so far however i have been keeping this knife cleaned off and i don't cut a lot of liquids so other than that the blade I will say, as far as complaints go against this knife, I really don't have that many other than the fact that you get what you get when you're getting into an out the front blade. The action is actually a little bit smoother than the older actions, and it's a little bit less stiff. It still is hard, <clears throat> and I will say there's an adjustment time if you're not used to out the front knives. There is some time <clears throat> you have to kind of get used to. Uh, you know, pulling this or pushing this, you know, out and back. But other than that, uh, the overall, my really only complaint probably would be the whole fact that uh, on their later models, like this is a 2017 model, they've made it this uh, ramp and X pattern, and that's really super grippy. But if you are opening and closing this knife with any frequency, it does have the tendency to kind of rip up your thumb. So that kind of sucks. But other than that, uh, the knife really has no issues for me. I have no problems. The powder coating is pretty resistant to scratches. This knife did sit um, in my pocket with a phone and sometimes other things. And there are definitely little scratches and little imperfections in the powder coating, but it's doing a really good job. It still looks black, which is the reason why we get it, is to look black for a long time. So it still looks black. The blade coating is holding up very well. Once again, it still looks black. There's no chipping out in the coating. Nothing wrong with it. And everything on that is doing just fine. And once again, this is like my third, fourth month with this knife. So <clears throat> I've put some mileage on this little guy. <coughs> so overall, my recommendation of this knife is really high. I love just about everything 
uh, this knife has to offer, especially from an EDC standpoint. Heck, one of my favorite things about this knife is that it's so tough and so durable that I even actually take this thing out bushcrafting. Now, granted, I don't use it a whole lot in bushcrafting, but this guy is really tough and it can handle just about any job you want it to, especially in an EDC format. Something that I didn't initially think I would like, but ended up liking in that EDC format as well, was just how thin the blade was on this knife. It makes it really easy <clears throat> to like slip it into and open up envelopes and stuff like that when you're opening up packages. This is a really, really nice knife to open up a package with because it has such a slender blade that can get right up in there and kind of has that exacto knife appeal that it is really exact it's really precise and it can get into the fine little places and open boxes or cut the things that you need it to cut <clears throat> so other than that as far as deployment goes it's fast it's snappy just like a microtech of course there's always gonna be a little bit of blade play in a microtech ultratech um <clears throat> other than that failures to failures to deploy I have had a handful of failures to deploy it's kind of natural and if you kind of tweak the knife just right or if say like you do that time you didn't want it it's making a liar out of me but if you know you move it down you get it in the right way you can get it to fail to deploy just like any uh, out the front knife you can get them to fail to deploy but so far this knife has been pretty resilient to failures of deployment and another thing unlike my blue ultra tech uh, this knife deploys just fine in the cold it does just fine <coughs> in inclement weather and once again it's great because you can deploy it with gloves on and you know it's not going to fail so <coughs> so other than that that's pretty much all i have to say on this knife hopefully you've enjoyed taking a quick look at the edc kind of overall edc life to this thing it is a really great blade i will say unfortunately if you live in one of those states that does not allow you to carry auto knives you are missing out but if you can get your hands on auto knives legally and you can carry something like this out the front uh, this would make a really great everyday carry option and it's another thing that unlike some traditional folder that you know comes out the side like this you know the <clears throat> out the front ultra tech is not only really practical still with its blade shape not being crazy like an infidel but it also has a but it also helps you kind of spice up your edc because it's something really different so it's not only practical and very usable from a user standpoint but it also kind of adds a fun little jest to your edc because it's just that out the front it's something untraditional unusual but still really high quality and really nice <clears throat> so anyways guys that's all i have to say about the microtech ultratech contour grip it's a really great knife i would highly highly recommend you guys check this thing out even more so than the ultratech tri grip this is one of those knives that really should be if you can have it legally should be in your collection because it's such a practical but yet fun knife to carry and it's so useful but once again fun to have because it's an out the front it has that kind of charm to it so anyways guys hopefully you've enjoyed this and as always god bless and i'm out